for time saver traffic. Thanks, Monica. It was supposed to be a mysterious form that appeared for a few days and then disappeared without a trace, but now it's turned into a group effort to get the monolith back on display at Seattle's Magnuson Park. As Como's Emily Langley reports, today some activists were enjoying a moment in the sun. The monolith is back, installed late last night, this time with the help of the Seattle Parks Department. There's a lot of people that have helped out. Uh, some people, some other people, some parks people. The 350-pound metal box is now set in about 7,000 pounds of concrete. This time, it's not going anywhere. You might remember the monolith first appeared on New Year's Day, then disappeared, apparently stolen. It was returned to view on Duck Island in Green Lake. Caleb Schrauber, acting for a group called Some People, rescued it and got the Parks Department to agree to reinstall it. Today, Schrauber and a monolith originator answered questions and enjoyed the reactions of those who trooped up Kite Hill to look, to touch, and even to sniff. Aside from putting a giant fire hydrant up here, I can't think of something we could have done that was better for the dogs. He wants to be known only as Honky the Clown, but he says his two friends originated the idea for the monolith about two months ago. That was what the idea was. We wanted people to be able to uh, see something happening that was purely enjoyable and, and simple but, but beautiful. I mean, the monolith theft was not planned, and it left the form with some dents and scratches but most don't seem to care. And it's all dark and like really ominous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of like, it's, it's, like, it's like an alien ship brought here. <laughs> but I think it's a wonderful idea. It's cool. <laughs> it's hollow and it's heavy. Looks like a rectangle. And it looks like a black space set. The man who first fabricated the monolith wants to put it back in its pristine black condition. The monolith will be here through March, but will then be removed to return the hill to kite flyers. Still, that will give some people time to find the monolith a new home, just in time for April Fool's Day. In North Seattle, Emily Langley, Como, 4 News. And the monolith has a special permit to be there until just March 31st. Some kite flyers say the form interferes with the breezes on the hill and objected to it being installed permanently. We'll tell you about another strange...